I have a very strange sort of upbringing. Uh, when I was three, my mother died of cancer, and my father couldn't handle it. You know, both grandmothers arrived to try to take care of us at different periods, but both grandmothers arrived. They couldn't handle it either eventually because they were quite elderly. And my uncle, who's an artist, uh, decided to make a deal with my father that he would take us, meaning my brother and I, to uh, New York City where he lived on weekends and to Cape Cod during the summers rather than have him put us in an orphanage. So at a very early age I was sort of surrounded by art because my uncle was a fairly prominent artist and shared a studio for example with Mark Rothko so I got to meet people like that and on the street just walking around before they were very famous people like Bill de Kooning and there's a long list of them and of course in Provincetown the whole town was full of artists so I was exposed to art on weekends we would go to the Met when and there would be nobody there in this cavernous place and uh, we'd walk around and my uncle would sort of talk about art so I was sort of in a sense indoctrinated in art from a very very early age but then I would go home after the weekend was over and in Brooklyn at that time it was pretty violent and uh, I was part of a gang and so I went from being a museum brat to a gang rat and uh, it's quite a sort of a schizophrenic upbringing but in many ways it did me a lot of good because I was able to handle the violent part of life as well as the aesthetic part of life.